Hello everyone, Kyle AA0Z here, and uh, just wanted to do a quick video I'm setting up for Missouri QSO party. It's the first weekend in April, and uh, going to be running expedition style with a bunch of buddies on uh, some county lines, and I uh, needed to test my setup here before we made the trek into basically nowhere um places that we go usually it's uh it's an hour away from any major town so uh we got to test make sure everything is working properly just wanted to go through and some document some stuff so in the past i've used one table i decided to get uh, two tables and make kind of an l shape uh to uh, put things closer together i don't have the biggest tent i've got an ice fishing tent that i use and it's only a one or a two man ice fishing tent and uh, it's not a lot of room in there so i decided to get a second table second smaller table instead of a one large table and set everything up so here is my rack mount that i have my radio and uh everything in i've got my flex radio a switching power supply i think that's a 30 app astron power supply Sorry for the jiggle. My tuner, KAT500, and then a switch that everything is connected into, and I'll, I'll get into that a little bit. Let me go around here to the back. So the Elecraft tuner's got three antenna ports, antenna one, antenna two, antenna three. I think I'm going to run a... Um, I'm not really sure what antennas... I'm going to run, but I typically have two on this guy. Here uh, is from the flex into the antenna tuner power, and then eventually I'm going to take this PC data and come out and come into the back of the flex into the USB, and that's going to pass band data to the tuner. So therefore, uh, it knows what frequency I'm on. The the tuner has got a band counter in it, but it takes a while for it to uh, find the frequency and actually tune the uh, antenna. So I, if you pass it the band data, it tunes rather instantly. So a power strip, power supply, flex radio, maestro, antenna tuner. This goes out to the uh, the maestro. Here is uh, these have a PTT um, switch on the back, and that's just uh, I'm not using it because I'm getting my PTT from my maestro. Um, a uh, dummy load, so I don't transmit on on antenna two. And then I've got uh, some grounding straps. So this one goes up to the antenna tuner. This one goes to the flex. And this strap is just a long strap that goes outside the tent and gets grounded into the ground, or gets uh, connected to a ground rod. And then I've got my laptop here. <clears throat> Run an N1MM. It's networked. Two other laptops have been testing out that. So these laptops are connected all through an Arden network. So this is my laptop. Here's the Flex. Here's the Maestro. And here's the Arden node. And it syncs up with other Arden nodes that are running N1MM. You can see the Arden node there and the power injector, PoE power injector, there. And one trick that you gotta do when you run uh, laptops on an Arden node, you can see that my laptop is not in the same subnet as the other laptops. So what you have to do is once you install or enable uh, networking on N1MM, you come here to Actions, Edit Computer Addresses, 
and then you enter in the NetBIOS names of all of the computers on the network that you want N1MM to see along with their static IPs. You hit OK here and then oh, where's my mouse? Then you're able to see them on the network. And it works relatively well. There are some, we've seen some anomalies with the syncing issues, but uh, usually once a network or a computer comes back online, it usually syncs all of the contacts um, with all the rest of the, the laptops. As long as you're, you know, running the same uh, contest, you've got all of your files up to date, it's running the same version, there's uh, many parameters that you have to get uh, correct in order for you to sync these laptops, but it's not hard. Once you do it a couple times, it comes relatively easy. And then here's my Maestro, and that's connected in through the network here. Power, and then I've got my headphones and my mic. And this is a stereo plug that gets connected out to two jacks. This one is the mic input. And here is my push to talk. This is a uh, tip sleeve TS connector that comes in to this, uh, this adapter. And then just comes to the Anderson power pole. And then eventually goes to my push to talk switch. And then another thing I've been working on is, so I've got two slices here, slice A and slice B. Right now you can see that I've got two windows. I've got window one and window two. Window one up here follows slice A. Window two follows slice B. B right now Slice B is in my left ear. Slice A is in my right ear. Whenever I hit the tilde button, you can see it mutes slice B and it puts slice A in both my ears. So whenever I hit the tilde button, you don't see it over here, but I can mute slice B and put slice A in both my ears. That's why my focus is on the top window right here. If I hit the slash key, focus goes to the bottom window. And you can see now it muted my left ear. And slice B is in both my right and left ear. I hit the tilde button and now Slice A is in my left ear, and slice B is in my right ear. And I still have focus on slice B to enter in a contact. And then if you hit the pause button, <clears throat> but my button is control B, you can see the transmit now goes to slice B. Slice A is not enabled for transmit. And the bottom window is now in focus. So if I click on Control B, now it's in focus A, or slice A, window one. So then I hit. Um, I'm sorry. I'm saying function. I'm saying Control. It's either it's function B on my keyboard. It's the pause button on uh, full keyboards. So whenever I hit function B, I go to the upper window, which corresponds to slice A, and then I hit the tilde button, it mutes my right ear, and now slice A is in both my ears. So I've been playing around with that. That is SO2R 
keystrokes. You can configure that on the flex through a couple of ports and works great. It uh, really focuses your, your brain on who's calling and if you're trying to pull somebody out of the noise, you can hit that tilde and put it in both your ears and really listen. Um, if you're trying to hear a weak station out there. So, everything is coming along here. Got some more testing to do. But this is going to be the setup for Missouri QSO. 2020 here in a couple of weeks. All right, 73.